Former New Mexico Governor Jerry Apodaca will be buried tomorrow. The influential leader's life celebrated today at the Roundhouse. Reporter Andres Valle has the story. Jerry Apodaca was Latino before it was cool to be Latino. <laughs> Honoring the life of former Governor Jerry Apodaca in the Roundhouse. His term only lasting four years in the 1970s, but his legacy still remains strong to this day. Speakers saying he opened the door for minorities across the state to have a better future. He fought for underrepresentation. That's my father's legacy. His cabinet was reflected and diverse. He insisted that business coalitions and business work and the legislature became more reflective of the state in which they served. Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham recounting that he appointed men and women who reflect the communities they represent. His son taking his words and actions to heart, sharing this. No one owes you anything but yourself. And in the end, you were in charge of your own destiny. But he'd also remember Never, ever, ever forget where you came from. Reporting in Santa Fe. Your legacy is that you fought and created opportunities for so many people, not only here in New Mexico, but my family around the country. That's who my dad was. That's his legacy. Andres Valle, KOET, Action 7 News. The former governor leaves behind a wife, five children, and ten grandchildren. He was 88. His funeral is tomorrow at the St. Francis Cathedral at noon. All services are open to the public.